Okay guys, let's get on with part two of our relative tuning lesson. I went back to standard tuning. And my standard G tuning is actually more like F, F tuning, but uh, so I drop everything down one. So if you, my standard tuning is F, C, F, A, C. It's the same arrangement as standard G, D, G, B, D, but it's one full step lower. So if you want to get exactly where I'm at, that's where I'm at. Now the next tuning I want to show you guys is uh, Naomi Weiss tuning. Uh, the way to get there is drop your bass string down as if you were going to um, double C or the, the we're, we're basically right now we're going to go to what's called minstrel tuning which is a tuning that I don't really use but I will show you guys that and I just kind of windage it with my ear and I drop my bass string down to a C. of the minstrel tuning right now. like the way I would have learned it in the Briggs manual years and years ago when I bought the, the old Briggs banjo tutor. So now we're in what's basically known as minstrel tuning. So Nomi Weiss tuning is not far from here. We want to drop, uh, Nomi Weiss tuning is G, C, G, A, D. So we want to drop our second string down to an A. How do we accomplish that? You're going to note your third string at the second fret to get that A tone. You're bringing your third string, which is a G note, up to an A. And so you do that by noting the third string at the second fret. So that's basically an A for our purposes here. So we are going to drag our second string up down to match that A. guys I mentioned in part one if you haven't watched that go watch part one after this but if you haven't seen part one I do discussed that uh, the reason I do all these minor adjustments in between tunings is that our banjo bridge floats on the head and so every time you twist one of these keys it throws all your other strings slightly out of whack so you've always got to do um, some minor adjustments in between tuning so now we're, we're in the neighborhood of Naomi Weiss tuning and the way that I play that is I take my ring finger, my middle finger, and with my ring finger I note the third string at the second fret and the bass string at the second fret. You get that sound. tune but that's Naomi Wise tuning and I don't really know of any other song that, that people play out of that tuning. So from Naomi Wise tuning I want to show you guys Little Birdie tuning which is right in the same neighborhood. Little Birdie is E C G A D. Right now we're in G C G A D. So how do we drop this fifth string down to an E? Well, you know that right now it's up here at the first string at the fifth fret making that G tone. If we put our first string at the fourth fret, it makes an F sharp tone for those other tunings I just showed you in part one. But we want to go all the way down to E for little birdie. So note your first string at the third fret, that gives the E tone. And drop your fifth string all the way down. Sorry, 
the E tone, I'm sorry, the F is at the third fret, the E tone is at the second fret. It's confusing stuff, isn't it? So your first string at the second fret makes the E tone for Little Birdie. So to drop your fifth string down until it matches the first string at the second fret. Let's show you guys standard um, double C tuning is a standard tuning, and we can get to there easily from here. Uh, George Gibson taught me this, the name of this as a hook and line tuning. So from Little Birdie, from Little Birdie tuning to get up to hook and line tuning, the first thing let's do is take our fifth string back up to where it sounds a little more typical. So I'm bringing my 5th string back up to G by noting the 1st string at the 5th fret. That makes the G tone. So now we're back in Nomi Wise tune. So we want to get to double C or hook and line tuning. So the way you do that, take your 3rd string, note it at the 5th fret. That makes the C tone. So you're going to run your 2nd string up to match the 3rd string at the 5th fret to get that C. So now we're in G, C, G, C, D. We can play hook and line. So that's hook and line tuning. From here, let me show you guys cackling hen tuning. Uh, this is, I think, called open C by a lot of people. And so, the way that we accomplish this is you're going to bring your second string up to basically where, let's see, when you're in double C, it's, you're not actually in a true C, open C chord. To get the C chord in double C, you note the first string at the second fret. So what we're doing, like a lot of old time tunings really are doing, is just you don't want to have so many fingers down on the fingerboard, so instead you tune your, your key up. So let's tune that first string up to where it makes that sound. you do that, and I just did it, you know, Kentucky Wind, I did it with my ear, but the second string at the fourth fret gives you that E note. show you Darling Cora tuning. It's in the same neighborhood. You just, this is easy now, you just drop your first string down to where it's a C. So it will, we want G, C, G, C, C for Darling Cora. So drop your first string down to where it matches your bass string or your second string, a C. So my 
favorite songs, and I guess because of uh, the internet, it's the song I'm perhaps most well known for. Wake up, wake up, my darling. What makes you sleep so sound? Them highwaymen are riding on a burn this whole damn town. learned that song from George Gibson. He learned it from his father, Mal Gibson, who played it similar to that. Okay, guys, we spent another 11 minutes here on tunings. That's that's pretty much every tuning that I ever use. Um, just in my, in my ordinary day-to-day -day life. Boy, I get this thing off of me. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any more questions, holler at me, and we will we will do it. So look out. There's, there's more lessons coming uh, you know, this weekend I'll probably put some more stuff up. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your suggestions and your contributions. And y'all are really keeping me sharp and uh, keeping me active on this old instrument here. So thanks for watching. You'll see me soon.